Hi everyone, you're watching Help on Flash videos and today we are joined by Waffle from Lodestar. So first of all, welcome to this Flash video and uh, let's start by beginning to get to know you a little bit. So tell us a bit about yourself and Lodestar. Hey, thanks a lot for having me. Um, I'm Waffle. Uh, I've been in the DeFi space for, uh, let's say, two to three years and I joined the Lodestar Finance team um, back in, in October before our pre-sale. And uh, we are lots of finance. Uh, we are Arbitrum native money market aimed at uh, Arbitrum maxis and with a special focus on yield bearing assets. Sounds great. So you did mention uh, that you, uh, you're Arbitrum focused money market. So uh, what sets you apart from the rest of the DeFi platforms out there? Lots of finance started as a bunch of friends, um, Arbitrum native DeFi enthusiasts that just wanted to launch uh, a money market on Arbitrum for Arbitrum people. The landscape of the money markets on Arbitrum was mainly about the big blue chips uh, that we all know, such as Aave and uh, Compound, Radiant as a multi-chain uh, money market. But we wanted to do something that was uh, focused uh, for Arbitrum, 100% uh, community-led and governed as a DAO, um, community funded also in a public sale that was capped uh, per wallet. And again, aimed at yield bearing assets um, in different iteration. This V1 is uh, built off a compound fork. Um, we added a few yield bearing assets to our platform and the aim and the roadmap along the way is to add as many exotic and different lending primitives to our protocol. Great, so what assets are there on uh, Lodestra right now? Um, so obviously on Lossar, you have all the blue chip assets. So you have wrapped Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, stable coins. Um, we also recently um, integrated the ARP token, uh, which is the native Arbitrum layer two governance token. And in this first iteration in the V1, uh, we have PLV GLP, which is a GLP wrapper. Um, and as some may know, GLP is a counterparty to the traders on GMX. So whenever traders trade on GMX, pay fees, get liquidated when things go bad, um, DLP earns a yield. And you as a counterparty, um, you actually um, can deploy that um, that that asset. And in our case, we support um, a wrapped version of GLP, which is the PLV GLP from Plutus DAO. And what happens in PLV GLP is that the yield is compounded into the asset, just as some kind of liquid wrapper. So the, the GLP value inside PLV GLP tends to grow along the, the yield of GLP, right? So you end up with a collateral that's quite interesting. We like to call it prime collateral because its value grows. It's very low in volatility because it's made of 50% stables, 20% uh, Bitcoin and 30% ETH. So the volatility is quite low. I call it a leverage 0.5 on the general market just to 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 make it simple. So you can definitely leverage it uh, one time, two time. You can go a little bit more degen if you're careful and stay away from liquidations. But you can also build interesting delta neutral strategies. Because if you deposit, for example, PLV GLP on the money market, you can just yeah. short it at the value of the assets. So let's say you, you borrow 20% of the value in Bitcoin and 30% in ETH and short it in PLV GLP, you end up having a delta neutral strategy which means your PLV GLP acts as a stable while earning a, a leveraged GLP. Okay, got it. So obviously you're a community and a group of um, Arbitrum focused, uh, Ar Arbitrum believers rather. Um, why go with uh, providing services to the Arbitrum community? What's rational behind? I mean, we've seen kind of, um, since the last cycle, we've seen a, sh a shift when it comes to innovation from the layer one Ethereum to, to layer two. And we've definitely observed that on, on Arbitrum, that's where the most interesting innovations were happening. I mean, the dev team has a background into the major and treasure uh, community. Myself has been always been interested by, by the DOPEX people who are doing with the options. Uh, we've seen a new generation of DeFi primitives uh, being developed on Arbitrum. Hence why we wanted to implement ourselves and offer um, our lending market to these DeFi communities. Got it. Okay, so could you tell us a bit about the tokenomics um, of the Lord token itself? Mm -hmm. Sure. So the Lord token is emitted to the participants in our market. Whenever you deposit um, 
uh, a collateral or if you borrow, you obviously pay or earn an interest, but you also receive um, some loan emissions. Um, so the token has a few use cases. Um, the first one is in the in the vein of the real yield narrative. Um, it's it's distributing a share of the protocol revenues in ETH. So here, here's how, how it works. Um, on Luster Finance, when you deposit and you borrow, you're obviously paying an interest. Uh, the right. protocol takes a share from that uh, interest, um, which we call the reserve factor. And that share um, of interest, 50% uh, of it remains in the protocol as protocol-owned liquidity and act as some kind of liquidity cushion in the market. But 50% yeah. of that revenue is distributed to the load token, uh, to the load stakers. And it's distributed in the form Form of ETH, but we also wanted to give some flexibility to the stakers. And you can stake very simply loading the contract and earn ETH, but whenever you apply a lock to that staking, mm -hmm. you can lock it for three months or six months, you get a yield multiplier. So this is a way for us to reward uh, long-term committed uh, load stakers. But on the other hand, you, you also have a dynamic that could happen. We want also to incentivize people to stay take as much as possible. So whenever you relock, you earn another multiplier, This and this one compounds. So the more you stay stay, the more real yield uh, you earn. But there is also a second mechanic uh, to the token, and this one is the governance over the emissions. So whenever you're staking uh, your tokens, uh, you earn a voting power. And with that voting power, there will be a gauge, and you can actually vote on the emissions of flow to the markets you desire to. So if you're, for example, an USDC liquidity provider, it would make very much sense for you to vote or uh, to send emissions to the borrow side of USDC. So your interest yeah. grows because it tends to incentivize people to borrow that USDC. And through that, this real yield system, but at the same moment, this locking option that adds a multiplier, we want also to incentivize uh, protocols building on top of Lotstar Finance to also accumulate load and be able to emit uh, low tokens to the markets they are building on top of. And uh, with these two factors, uh, this is how the tokenomics uh, were built around our token. Of course, there's a third, um, the third aspect of it is the regular governance of the protocol. We're 100% community funded, as I was saying, and community governed, which means no update and no asset is added uh, to the protocol. I mean, no change happens on the protocol without the governance vote. So we have a forum on our Discord where our community is kind of very active. And uh, we go through a snapshot vote whenever there's a change that needs to be done. So those are the three um, tokenomic aspects of our token. Love it, um, especially the community and the loyalty incentivization aspects of that. So where on the roadmap are you right now and what's coming up next? Ah, so right now we are at the end of our V1. So the V1 was the launch of our compound fork with these assets I've been describing. And the step we're in in the roadmap is right before the staking release. Uh, this is why we came to you guys at Halibon um, to re-audit our uh, protocol, but also the staking. And whenever the staking is out, well, that's where the V2 happens. And what's going to happen is adding more yield-bearing assets, adding more exotic assets. We have always been interested, for example, um, about the Plutus DAO um, liquid state assets such as D DPX, uh, but also there are other GLP uh, wrappers just like the GGLP from Jones DAO. So here we'll be adding more and more um, yield bearing assets, but also exploring other lending primitives. So the whole point on the roadmap, the end of the roadmap is becoming the, the money market hub on Arbitrum that would give you also different primitives for different strategies. Sounds great. And uh, you talked a little bit about our work together. So what was the security strategy that Lodstar had in mind and why go with Halborn? Sure. So Lodstar, as I was saying, was launched back in November. We actually launched the protocol um, while the audit, uh, first audit was happening with another company. Uh, unfortunately, our community and our protocol was a victim of an exploit. Um, which which was definitely um, a challenge for us, but also for all our community, because people believed in us. Our community was definitely very enthusiastic about uh, what we were building. So after taking a small break, uh, we managed to, to put a compensation plan for all the victims of the exploits and decided to relaunch the protocol with a very, very high focus 
on security. The aim was to make a money market for DGENs, but we decided to make a money market for DGENs that would be the safest possible from there, from that moment. Uh, it was definitely a reality check. And um, for relaunching, we, we relaunched the, the, uh, the protocol, which was already audited because, hey, uh, that was an ongoing audit before the exploit. But we also had a second audit, this time as a crowd audit, uh, with a partner decentralized bounty protocol called Hats Finance. So we had um, a few white hats and security researchers looking at our code, um, looking for bugs and whatever could put user funds at risk for bounty. But hey, we still wanted to deliver what was best for uh, the safest lending protocol for our community. So we decided to to raise some funds through bond protocol with a bond emissions. And we came to uh, to you guys at Halibur knowing, um, knowing your reputation, but also the high quality of of your audit work and we decided to re-audit a third time the whole protocol on top of our staking budget. Got it. And we are definitely grateful for the trust uh, put in there. So this has been a great chat. Thank you so much for joining us in today, Bofo, and uh, have a great run ahead. Looking forward to all the Lodestar updates. Thank you very much.